Hi, Dr. Valerie here. Did you know when you go into menopause, your cholesterol can increase? Yes, that's true. After working with women for 20 years, I've noticed, and you can see this in the literature too, that when women hit menopause, you'll notice their cholesterol will go up. Now, is that because they have maybe some family history that's catching up with them when they get to menopause? Perhaps, but it also can be when your estrogen drops, your cholesterol can rise. The estrogen actually has really good aspects to help keep your cholesterol down. So I'm gonna talk about a patient that I just saw. Now she is active, she exercises every day, she's in super great health, but she's just in her early 50s going into menopause. And what I've noticed is, right, this was about six months ago when she started going into menopause, is her cholesterol started to go up. Now her triglycerides are perfect, they are, they're always staying great. Let's see, last time, this time her triglycerides were at 53. Triglycerides have to do a little bit more with um, eating more sugar. So her, and she doesn't eat any sugar. That's why they're 53. And last time they were in the 60s. Her HDLs are always great. Last time they were at 80. HDLs, high density lipoproteins are your beneficial cholesterol. The higher, the better. Her HDLs are at 88 because she exercises all the time because that can really raise up your HDLs. But her total cholesterol had went up to 205, which isn't high, that's only about five points over the normal, but it was because her LDL cholesterol was at 113. Now 113 is not bad for an LDL cholesterol, truly. Back in 2016, the LDL cholesterol reference range was anything at 130 and below was fine, but now they've changed it to anything 99 and below is normal. So it put a lot of people into high cholesterol. So I would, so I told her your 113 of your LDL cholesterol was not high, but it was different from her previous cholesterol because her previous LDL cholesterol had always ran in the 70s, which was actually pretty low, like pretty impressive to have your, have an LDL cholesterol at 75 naturally without taking anything but it had gone from 75 up to 113, which is actually you know, a change. So I didn't want that 113 to turn into 133 or turn into 163, because it was going up, because nothing in her life had changed other than she was just now going through menopause. So it's been six months, and I actually did a little bit of some supplementation with her. I did some red yeast rice. She was a good candidate for that. This is not medical advice, but I did some natural supplementation of some red yeast rice for her. And now when we did the blood work, her cholesterol came down to 87. So her LDL went from 113 down to 87. Because of that, her total cholesterol went from 205 to 189, just from doing a little bit of supplementation. Now, I have noticed with other patients that I've done hormone replacement, because with her, we chose not to do the hormone replacement at that time. We're gonna decide if that's some a direction she wants to go in because overall she feels pretty good but for this patient we didn't do HRT but other patients I've done uh, used HRT I've looked at their cholesterol and their cholesterol does come down a little bit so I'll do another case study on that in the future but thank you for watching